Hey you guys, this is Angel and welcome back to Angel's World. Today I'll be doing something different. Usually I will be bringing you guys a review by now, which will be week four. Yes, I made it to week four. But I'm going to do something a little different. I've been getting comments um, and emails about black seed oil. So I thought maybe I should just do a quick little top ten things that I think you guys should know. Mind you, I am not a doctor. Um, I'm not your doctor. I am a nurse. I am not using my nursing license right now. Once I step in the threshold of my house, I am no longer a nurse. So I am not coming to you as a nurse. I am coming to you as your best friend. So, yes, this is my disclaimer letting you guys know I am not here to give you guys a spill out of what you should do. You should always contact your doctor at all times. I am not here to tell you anything about you. I am telling you basically about me and my journey when it comes to black seed oil. Please contact your doctor if this is something that you want to do. Since I got all of that out, then I'm going to give you my top 10 things that I think anyone should know about black seed oil before they start taking it. You want to hear it? Just stick to me. All right, let's start with number 10. Number 10 is black seed oil. What is it? Where it come from? Okay, black seed oil is extracted from a seed from a plant. Yes, a plant that grew from the ground, a flower called Nigella sativa. I may not be pronouncing that right, but you know it's going to be right here in the screen. Yes, that's the name. It is extracted from that plant. The reason that's number 10 is because you need to know. Just because it's a plant does not mean you can't be allergic to it. Doesn't mean I can't be allergic to it. My daughter's allergic to strawberries. That's natural, right? Yeah. But she's allergic. So be mindful of what you put in your body because you may just be allergic to. Keep it in moving. Number nine. I wrote all this stuff down right here so I can keep it with it. I'm trying to speed this up though. All okay. right. Number nine, this is for pregnant women and women that are breastfeeding. Um, they should not take black seed oil. Supposedly, there's a lot of research going around, and some research say it's fine. Some research say it's not. Me, personally, if I was pregnant, putting my breast in my baby's mouth, I wouldn't want to take it because I wouldn't want anything that I put in my mouth to jeopardize anything going on with my child. So, my personal opinion is, don't take it. It ain't that deep. Sorry, you guys. Okay. Number eight, it decreases blood clotting time. Blood clotting time is when you cut yourself, you start bleeding, it stops, it clots, it heals. Okay, that's what you want. This actually decreases that. And some people, they have certain problems with clotting. They have certain problems with bleeding too much. Different strokes, different folks. It may not work for you. So, if you are a person who has a problem with um, blood clots, this will probably be good for you. Probably. I don't know. I'm not your doctor. But if you have a problem with bleeding and bleeding and more bleeding, you would want to take something to keep you bleeding. You feel me? We're on the same page? Okay. Let's move to number seven. Number seven is whatever you're taking black seed oil for, is a specific dose for that. What I mean is you have um, people who want to lose weight. That may be a tablespoon in the morning, a tablespoon at night. You have people who wants to lower their blood pressure. That may be two tablespoons in the morning, two tablespoons at night. You have people who have arthritis. That may be something else. You have people who have HIV, AIDS, herpes, blah, blah, blah. The list goes on and on. What I am saying to you is everything has a specific dose. So, it's not a cookie cutter oil. You can't just take a teaspoon and think this is going to cure everything in your body. Do your research. Look it up. It may You may have to take two teaspoons for a headache. You may have to take three teaspoons for a toe ache. It's different doses for different situations. That was number seven. Let me flip this page real quick. Number six. Number six goes along with number ten. When it comes to being allergic, um, a lot of times when you have pain, when it comes to people taking black seed oil and they have pain, lower back pain, um, arthritis, and things of that nature, you usually use it topically. Um, with my pain, with my back pain, I was able to take a teaspoon a day. And um, it was either a teaspoon or a tablespoon. I'm not sure. Watch the other video and I'll be able to tell you. But yeah, it works great for my back pain. But usually they want you to rub it on the spot that's in, that the pain is at and it'll attack it that way. 
um, it can cause rashes, skin rashes. So before you start rubbing this oil all over your body, you may want to check and make sure if you're allergic to it or not because a lot of people have reported skin rashes with this oil. And that was number six. Number five. Number five is, I'm still looking at my paper, y'all. Number five is, now it's time to get real serious. Number five, it lowers blood pressure. Now. This could be good if someone has uncontrollable, uncontrolled blood pressure and it's always high and they can't seem to get it under control. Um, this can help you manage it. I'm guessing. I'm not sure. Once again, I'm not your doctor. Make sure you talk to your doctor. But this lowers blood pressure. It could be a good thing. But you have some people who have low blood pressure already. This, this will not be good. Do not take black seed oil if you already have low blood pressure. Um... Because this is one of the things that it does. It does lower blood pressure. You just, that's just not good. Gee, we just going to roll on past that because we all know that ain't good. Number four, it lowers blood sugar. Mind you, you got diabetes, you can't seem to control it. Um, you're trying to get everything together. You hear about black sea oil. Ooh, it lowers blood sugar. That's good. You take it. It works. That's great. whoop you do But... For so someone who has low blood sugar already, black seed oil lowers blood sugar. You can go on a diabetic coma. A lot of things can happen if your blood sugar is too low. Make sure you talk to your doctor. So let's recap really quickly. Number five was lower blood pressure. Number four was lower blood sugar. Both of those things are very important. Everything on this list is very important, but I strongly suggest you talk to your doctor before you start putting anything in your body when you already have conditions that need to be managed, okay? Okay, number three. Number three is individuals that are scheduled for surgery, want to have surgery, decided that this is the year that they going to get them breasts, that booty, suck that stomach on out and put it in the back side and get them flabby arms and have them suck all that fat out, whatever it is you got to do, cataract surgery, gallbladder surgery, any kind of surgery that you may have coming up and you know about it, this is not something you should be taking. Like we already talked about, this um, this increases bleeding. It lowers blood pressure. It lowers blood sugar. It messes with anesthesiologists. Anesthesia, that's the man that gave it to you. Or woman. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It messes with... um. It messes with your anesthesia. Goodness, I couldn't think of that. It messes with the anesthesia, the stuff that they give you to go to sleep. It interferes with that. So you do not want to take black seed oil. And this is something, these are these are the potential side effects. You may not wake up from your surgery. Let's keep it one. So don't take black seed oil. They suggest that you wait at least, um, you stop taking it two weeks before your surgery. I suggest you don't take it at all. But who cares what I suggest? Who cares what they suggest? Make sure you talk to your doctor before you take it. Is you getting the train yet? You see, I keep saying that. Is you getting it? Not yet. I keep on it. Number two. Everywhere I did this research at, they're saying the exact same thing. They're all saying the same thing. And I thought this was very important. That's why I made it number two. Number two is, we have not conducted enough tests, nor is there enough evidence to make sure that these are the things that black seed oil actually does. If you take black seed oil, you are taking black seed oil at your own risk because we have not conducted enough tests or collected enough evidence within humans to know that these things are legit. That black seed oil really does the things that we are listening on this website. Listening, not listening. Listening on this website. What does that mean? That means they're covering their own tracks and telling you all the things that it's supposedly doing. It's, it's doing all these great things, supposedly, but there's no evidence of it. Meaning you're taking it at your own risk. Not my risk. Yours. You. You are. Not me. I did my research. Not me. I talked to my doctor. I don't know about you, but I did. So I suggest you talk to your dang old doctor. Number one. You might have to say this. Number one. Number one thing that I think you should know about taking black seed oil before you take it. You should talk to your doctor. 
<clears throat> is this thing going? I might. Is that mic going? Let me see. Let me, let me you should talk to your doctor before you take anything. Before you put anything into your body for medical reasons, you should speak to your doctor. Your doctor should be your best friend. You should be talking to your doctor about whatever you put in your body, especially black seed oil. I am only naming a few things that black seed oil do. Black seed oil can do all types of things, supposedly. Remember, not enough tests are have been ran. And humans, who are they testing? I don't know. <laughs> but make sure you talk to your doctor before you take this medication. Or... Er, as a medication, whatever. Now, bonus for you. If you are taking it for um, weight loss, you may want to do a little more than just put some oil in your throat. You, you may want to stop, you know, eating chips and uh, donuts. And you may want to go for a walk. I know it's supposed to cure everything, but it don't work for everybody. Trust me. So if weight loss is something that you're taking it for, go a little bit further. It should it should make you want to. I mean, it will drop some pounds off of you because I've had pounds dropped off me. Don't mean I didn't gain them back, but they did drop. Hmm. But what I'm trying to say to you is put in the work. Whatever you're trying to take black like, seed oil for, do your research, talk to your doctor. But don't think it's just going to do it for you. This is your body. Take control of yourself. This is 2017. We are taking control of our life. Put in the work. Okay? That's it. 2017. I came. I said what I needed to say. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe. 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 And I'm out. Drop the mic. Boom.